murder trial taking place here in the Wiregrass. Good evening. Thanks for watching WDHN News at 6 o'clock. Back in 2016, friends, a Montgomery police officer shot and killed an unarmed man in which he claimed stand your ground laws for defense. A trial for that man began yesterday in Ozark at the Dale County Courthouse. Brantley Weatherford tonight with more information and the latest on the court proceedings. Mr. Weatherford, good evening. Good evening, men. Not much happened in the trial today. It was more of the same information that the public already knew. 2016 Montgomery police officer Aaron Smith shot an unarmed man during a stop and frisk. Smith faces murder charges in the case. The trial has had a long road to court, including the recusal of eight judges and an order to move to the Dale County Courthouse and has people in Montgomery concerned. Now they can't justify how the paint stick was used, so therefore I think the, the key part of this trial is the paint stick. The paint stick being referenced is what Officer Smith says the victim Greg Gunn used to try and hit the officer. There there are two interviews the Alabama Bureau of Investigation conducted back in 2016 that show some slight inconsistencies in the officer's account, which leads the concerned citizens to believe he's guilty. Due to the fact that there's a lot of contradicting, he can't recall uh, when it comes down to the paint stick. I think the paint stick was a key uh, piece of evidence that's the dish, that, the, uh, that his attorney brought into play. The recordings also revealed two scenarios, one where the officer and gun had a struggle before he gave chase, and the other where there wasn't a struggle, and this one is where the paint stick came into the scene. The DA office out of Montgomery is doing a very professional service uh, to the victim family. I think the, um, they have put on the case, the PowerPoint presentation. I think the evidence showed that a, a crime was definitely committed. And then I did learn that Mr. Gunn was tased and had lacerations on the back of his head from a baton. All right, Mr. Weatherford, thank you for that update tonight. That trial will continue in Ozark. Two sex offenders can.